Hello everybody, this is Dale Cantrell. I just wanted to make a short video. I sure hope it's short today and not as long as some of the others. Uh, I want to start off by reading in Ecclesiastes uh, 9 and I want to read verse 10 and 11. It says, Wherefore, whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with all thy might. For there's no work, no device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. It reminds me of Colossians 3.23. It says, uh, whatever you do, do heartily as unto the Lord. And I equate it with if I was uh, my wife fixed me a meal and uh, if I just eat it half heartily, it might not give her much incentive to fix me anything else anytime soon since it's just me and her here. Um, so I try to eat heartily and let her know that I appreciate it. And... Uh, it says, I returned and saw unto the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor riches to the men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Um, I, was, I was just thinking, if you had, how many of you know that if you had your life to live over again, you would, uh, could do better? I was thinking about that, that it's not to the swift, the, the race is not to the swift or, or the battle to the strong. I was thinking about when I came back from the Army, I had the GI Bill. Uh, I was almost, I was 23 years old, uh, and I had to have algebra, trig, and, G, and uh, calculus for a business major. And uh, I never had, I'd taken algebra in high school, but I never had any trig. And uh, they were sitting around in the class before the class started, and and some of them were saying, what'd you make on your ACT test? And they were dragging out numbers like 20-something, and I made 15. Then they said, what did you make in high school in trig? And they were saying, A, A minus, B plus. I never took trig in high school. Uh, so I felt like, what am I doing in here? Uh, I felt like that I wasn't swift or strong as they were in in that area and um so uh they the i went on and i didn't withdraw i took the class and i made uh, the only a in the whole class she rounded them up uh curved them up to give somebody else uh an a minus or whatever but that taught me a lesson you know you could be uh, I've heard of people running marathons, and they said before the race started, people was doing all kind of things, and they was running backwards, and just looked like it was going to breeze through, and they they would think that, what am I doing in this marathon race? And to get down the road just a little piece, and there they would be on the side of the road, already dropped out. Um, I I asking you today, to there's we're not going to get this we're not gonna get a chance to live our life over. We need to get it right the first time. I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid, uh, I prepared for that a long time ago, almost 43 years ago, I prepared for death, but I am afraid of dying before I've really lived. I'm afraid of that, and that's what I, uh, I don't want to do that. I was thinking about the cemetery. The cemetery is the richest place I know of. It's richer than Fort Knox. It's richer than any bank or vault. Uh, in the cemetery, there are there are sermons that never will get preached. There's testimonies we'll never hear. There's songs that'll never be sung in the cemetery. Uh, there's love that's never going to be expressed. There's apologies that's never going to be made. Don't uh, don't go to the grave without doing what you're supposed to do. Now I guess that's the, my message today. Uh, I know a lady wrote a book about if I had my life to live over, I believe was the name of it. And she told that she wouldn't worry about things that she worried about her house being in a mess. She'd have people over anyway. And I know I heard George Bernard Shaw said, uh, they asked him what would he like to be if he had a chance to live over again and something like that. And he said, the man I never was. So, uh, I'm not afraid of dying. I'm, I'm afraid of dying before I live. 
Don't die with your song inside of you. Sing your song before you get there. Don't die with your song in you. Wouldn't it be sad that if we lay on our deathbed and we could see the ghost of the talents that had tried to work with us down through the years and they had tears in their eyes. We have tears in our eyes and they're saying, we came to you and we tried to work with you, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't work with us. And now we got to die along with you when you die. Do, do what you know to do. Uh, we're not competing with anybody anyway. So don't, don't die without singing your song. I guess that's my message for you today. During the coronas or corona or with, when there's not a coronavirus, we need to do everything we know to do. We don't need to wait till tomorrow. I really appreciate it. I just hope that this encouraged somebody uh, in some way. I love all of you and I ask you to, uh, that if you need me in every video to call me. I'm making these pretty often. Uh, there's people making them maybe once a week or whatever they're, it's not, it don't make any difference. I feel pressed to make these. The Lord, I wake up at one to three o'clock in the morning and he puts these on my uh, heart and mind and I just feel like it, I need to share them with somebody because I feel full and I, and I want to help somebody else. So until the next time that I make another video, we meet again in person or whatever. May God bless you.